can see why they call it the knife edge. Ow! I follow this dirt road back to the Tories Peak Trailhead. We'll sleep there, get up in the morning, hike up through the valley, hopefully find the Kelso Ridge Line, hopefully some at the 14 plus thousand foot peak, known as Tories Peak, Cross, Gray's Peak, also 14,000 feet, back down to the car. What's up guys, one of my favorite places to be, deep in the forest here in Colorado, trying to find the way to the Tories Peak Trailhead. Want to get these mosquito nets on real fast. The bugs can be crazy here in the Alpine Forest in Colorado. Start getting the gear together. I want to be able to get to sleep at a good time as I've been driving all day today and a pretty big adventure tomorrow. It's eight or ten miles to the summit of a couple 14 plus thousand foot peaks. Not only that, but we're by far taking the hardest way to the top. It's this thing called the Kelso Ridge Line. Uh, not many people do it. It's kind of climby, kind of hikey, kind of dangerous apparently because there's this knife edge, like a little thing you gotta crawl along. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited for it. I uh, I love scrambling here in Colorado. Started out going the wrong way, ran into some campers. An auspicious start to the morning. I think that's the bridge line. We'll see when they get up there. All I can say for sure is that we're supposed to walk the standard path for, I believe it's 1.75 miles. Then there's a little offshoot from the standard path up a Ridge line, the Kelso Ridge line. All right, guys. So I think I missed the ridge line. Um, I'm seeing a trail now in the distance that looks a lot like the ridge. I guess that's the summit. I backtrack now. Ankle's feeling a lot better. Obviously hurts. I'm gonna be careful. Trying to put any uh, super compromised positions. Hey. Yes. Note to self: Don't try to keep up with the kids the day before a big hike. It was at this point that my ankle went from good to bad. All right, so it looks like we're on a pretty well-established trail and it's headed towards a ridge line, the tall mountain at the top. I'm assuming this is the right way. Looks pretty intense. Try not to bang my head or backpack on these obnoxious rock outcroppings. That's the kind of thing that can make you lose your balance. I think we picked a good way up. Can feel the ridge line narrowing. I uh imagine how it's going to come to a knife edge here soon. Have to be really careful of this kind of stuff. Big, semi-loose looking boulders. Big empty pockets where they can roll into. Could be a disaster. In my opinion, these kind of loose, Jenga-like small boulders are some of the most dangerous. In fact, I think I'm going to climb up this uh, more solid rock right here. Oh yeah. That's much better. This is at least solid rock.
I think we may be coming to the knife edge before long, guys. Some people say that's the hardest part, or at least the scariest part. I'm guessing it's gonna be less scary for me, though, as long as I can just crawl, like bear crawl along, basically. I think that's less scary sounding than climbing up vertical rock faces. We're really closing in on Tori's Peak. Then from there, walk across to Gray's Peak, back down. This looks like a nice little warm up for the knife's edge. Feeling the elevation, getting harder to breathe. Very manageable though, so. I think that's it. Yeah, that's most certainly it. Gonna pour a little water out just to make myself a bit more stable and drink a little too. Also gonna make each side even. All right, people, let's do this. Yikes, I can see why they call it the knife edge. Ow. Yeah, that wasn't so bad so far. Not sure if we're supposed to go over this or down right here. Kind of looks like down right here around the corner. Kind of like I thought. Not super scary because I could just basically straddle it the whole time. The last little bit to the summit, I think, pretty much puts all the climbing behind us, if I'm not mistaken. Started all the way down there, came up to the ridge line, across the ridge line, across the knife edge. I know we're close. Alright guys, we pretty much made it. Let's uh, go join the hikers at the top. Ridge line is behind us. Views up here on Tori's Peak are amazing, but I'm gonna start hiking over to, I think it's Gray's Peak now. And I believe from here on out, just gonna be nice, easy hiking. Uh, no more climbing. Bunch of little bugs. Almost at the top. There's Tories. All right, people, we made it to the summit of Grays. I'll show you the ridge line we climbed. So the regular hiking trail, more or less straight back down to the valley. Right there. That's where we got on the ridge line. Climbed up it. Walked across it, climbed up it, to the little knife edge that we crossed right there, just before the summit of Tories. It's beautiful up here, but haven't eaten in about 24 hours, and we need to get on to Denver, so I'm gonna start making my way back down. I believe the parking lot is 
somewhere in this little group of trees here. About to head back into the valley. Was an awesome hike guys i felt like on kelso i could pretty much see where to go always with the climbing stuff maybe not always i guess there were a few decisions i'm gonna take a quick nap i have to find out which direction denver's in um currently have no cell phone service so probably gonna break out a physical map here in a minute and try to figure it out Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, consider liking and subscribing. Maybe I'll see you next time.